to the light within in this episode we are going to talk about surrender what is the true meaning of surrender what are the impediments in our way to surrender and lastly how understanding the components of surrender can help you bring peace and alignment in your life so without further ado let's quickly dive in you know it's interesting how language sometimes equips us and fails us to why am i saying this i guess intuitively uh, you know what surrender means yet since the word surrender does not convey the meaning accurately it is deeply misunderstood too the literal meaning of surrender in english is to give up to submit but this is not what we mean when we use the word in spiritual context The closest word to the actual meaning of surrender is refuge to take refuge in hindi we call it sharangati which in hindu and yogic tradition means a process of total surrender to god's will sharangati is combination of two words shara meaning shelter and agat meaning one who has come to be sheltered The person who has come to the place of refuge or shelter is called a sharangat. For the ease of understanding I am going to use the word surrender only but what I am actually talking about is sharangati. So surrender has a deeper meaning. The meaning should not be understood as a literal translation of the word in English language. Surrender hence means to seek refuge in the higher power, the creator, the cosmic wisdom, universe or god or whatever you want to call it. To surrender means to accept the reality as is without offering any resistance and resentment no matter how painful it might be. It means that your faith in the higher power is way bigger than your doubts. and that you are ready to wait and let things play out their natural course you know the fact is that we are not in control of our destiny completely a lot of things that happen in our lives are a result of our past karmas and part of our journey that our soul has chosen for us in this lifetime to evolve this shouldn't be understood in a negative sense i have heard a lot of people say that if everything is written then what are we even here for what is there for us to do that's not what karma means it means that you have an excellent opportunity to walk the path only if you choose to operate your life consciously surrender helps you find the missing piece in the puzzle of life it helps you understand that the higher power knows better than you and helps you start living with the reality without resentment alignment to this understanding helps you release a lot of karma you may say that all this sounds very good but how do i use this information or how do i even apply this in my life you know what i agree that it is extremely difficult when it comes to implementation of these concepts um they sound so easy but when it comes to a time when you have to make peace with a situation especially when the situation is causing a lot of pain to you for whatever reasons you can't do much about the situation surrender is the last thing on your mind you just want to swing into action and do something which can improve the situation and change things as you would like to see them surrender is a process as i mentioned earlier and the process comprises of understanding a few more concepts and internalize them in your life surrender by itself is not something that you wake up one day and decide to surrender it's a gradual process and you have to train yourself for that where you understand the components which will lead you to surrender it's not so difficult to understand the components and integrate them as much as it is difficult to remove the roadblocks 
what i mean is that if i ask you to have faith in god for a matter beyond your control 9 out of 10 times your reaction is going to be i am not going to quit i know what i am doing and i will take care of the situation here again you need to remind yourself that surrender is about doing your best and leaving the rest to the almighty without a shadow of doubt or now what will make it difficult for you to make this happen are one of the two things and these are what we call the impediments to surrender impediment number 1 attachment to outcomes we are so attached to the outcomes that we can't let go of control take any situation we make vision boards goal sheets and go nuts about manifestations and i'm not saying that any of these are wrong of course you need to clearly know what you are after in life we need to define our goals put a timeline picture them clearly visualize but it is extremely important to detach from the outcomes as well so if you're following a uh, law of attraction or art of allowing or manifestation techniques you know very well that this is what exactly the teachers tell you to do they will ask you to have a clarity of your desire visualize it and then as a final step let go why is it so because we don't know nobody knows if it is going to happen or not karma is complex and what you do have in your hand is to keep your vibrations high and aligned give your best in every moment and leave it at that the moment you get attached to results or outcomes or whether it is going to happen or not you entangle yourself in a bigger loop so that is what we mean by not getting attached to the outcomes do all the goal setting that you want to do but be ready if it doesn't come true your job is just to give your best and then leave the rest now the second impediment is ego traps this is another huge impediment in our way to surrender our mind loves to play games with us and creates an illusion that we are in charge and hence we should always be in control this belief that we are in control and that there is no one else who knows better blinds us to the reality that the supreme energy knows everything not just who we are now but who we were before right from our first lifetime understand that there's an accountant out there and he knows whether we deserve something or not he knows better he will guard us he will guide us redirect us only if we let go of control and surrender our mind to him so what should we do sit and do nothing this should not be misunderstood for inaction this only means that you need to keep your mind open and keep in check the ego take the action from the place of humility and grace and not arrogance and vanity now that we understand what we should get rid of let's understand what we need to do to surrender as i mentioned earlier there are steps or components even if you follow a few of them it will bring in immense peace to you So what are the components of surrender? Component number 1 acceptance of reality. Acceptance of reality is a fundamental step in the process of surrender, especially when dealing with challenges or uncontrollable situations. Train your mind to live in the present moment and accept the current circumstances. This doesn't mean you're giving up. It only means that you're not operating from the fears of your past or imaginations of future. It will lead you in a better place, trust me. Surrender in this context doesn't mean giving up in defeat, but rather letting go of resistance and finding inner peace and resilience. When you resist or deny reality, you often experience stress and anxiety. It makes you restless. Accepting the truth of the situation allows you to let go of the mental and emotional turmoil associated with denial and resistance. Have you heard of the phrase what you resist persists? This is exactly what I'm talking about. Release the need for the situation to be something else. Only then you will be able to learn the lesson that the situation is here to teach you. and the moment you accept the situation as it is you will experience an immense peace now the second component of surrender is giving up control 
It's one thing to accept the reality and another thing to give up control. Even when we have accepted the reality, our minds refuse to give up control. We just want to manipulate the situation in our favor. Giving up control can be crucial aspect of surrendering as it allows you to let go and need to manipulate or dominate every aspect of your life or circumstances. Surrendering control means to trust in the higher power, the universe or the natural course of events. Life is full of unexpected twists and turns. And when you are too rigid in your need for control, it can be very difficult to navigate these changes gracefully. In my experience, I've realized that when I have held on to something very tightly, as in I've not let go of the control, I just want to change the situation in some way or other, I've realized that I have also overlooked the signals that were being sent to me. You know, there are signs that you receive from the universe. When I was too rigid and too blinded in my view of the situation and I wanted to control it too hard, I was not able to see the signs which were very obvious. And the moment I let go of the control and I said that this is all that I can do now, I cannot do anything beyond the moment that realization came, I was able to see the signals that were all over in front of my eyes. But I was ignoring them earlier. So understand that the guidance is available to you. But your need to control will not let you see them clearly. The moment you realize that this is all that you can do. And now it is time for you to trust the divine. All those things which were there in the background somewhere will come forth. And then the situation will start to ease up for you. The next component, and I think it's the most important component in, in order to surrender, is nurture your connection to God. Believing in a higher power allows us to trust in the divine wisdom and guidance. Surrendering to God means giving up the heavy burden of trying to control everything in your life. We can lay our worries, fears and anxieties at the feet of the divine and find relief from the constant need to manage every aspect of our existence. Choose to place your worries to whoever you pray to. And you know what? I think some of us want to do it, but then we see people next to us or around us, they are not doing it and we feel as if we are weak in if we are doing it. But I want to tell you that if you have this realization, you keep the practice to yourself. You don't have to tell people what you're doing, what you're praying for, how you are managing this, this situation because you don't know what is happening in another person's life, right? It's best if you keep your connection to the Almighty to yourself and then build the connection in a way where you're even able to communicate with the higher power. Talk to the divine power and you will receive the answer if your call is from a pure heart. You and I are not at the driving seat and we know it. It's just that we don't accept. We got to understand and believe the one who is driving, it is one for all of us. He knows the path we've walked before. The path we have charted out in our minds and if that path is the right path for us or not. Place your faith and give your best. And trust him. And everything else doesn't matter. So in this episode, we spoke about power of surrender, which means to take refuge in Almighty. The impediments to surrender, which arise from ego and attachments to outcomes. We also spoke about the components of surrender, which is to accept the reality, give up the control and nurture our connection with the Almighty. So that's all for this episode. I have thoroughly enjoyed this conversation. May your soul be illuminated with the light within. Until we meet next, keep shining the light within. 